terrors are fascinating. I think it's really a jewel that reflects the elegance and the good time of the golden eras. This terra is a true magnificent piece and it has remained in the same family, the House of Savoy, for over 150 years. So this terra was made in the second half of the 19th century by Musi, the court jeweler of Torino, and it was probably a wedding gift from the King of Italy to Maria Vittoria dal Pozzo when she married Amedeo of Savoy Aosta, who was the son of King Vittorio Emanuele II. This terra has remained in the house of Savoy for over 150 years. So indeed, the tiara is set with uh, all cushion cut diamonds and circular cut diamonds and a beautiful collection of natural pearls. And the largest one is 20 millimeters length. And it's quite extraordinary to have a collection of 11 drop shaped uh, natural pearls in one jewel. Pearls were really the symbol uh, of royalty and nobility. The Savoy family was very famous for the large collection of pearls in their jewelry collections. Maria Vittoria del Pozzo was uh, from an aristocratic Italian family. She was Princess della Cisterna, and she was not really of the same royal blood of Amelio of Savoy, her fiancé. So Victoria Emanuele II, the King of Italy, was not very much in favor of this marriage, but she had a very important dowry. She actually managed to convince the king to marry the son, and they got married in 1867. This tiara is also very interesting because one can wear it either as a tiara or as a necklace. So the bottom part, the bandeau, the diamond bandeau, can be detached and there are two hooks at the end of each part that allows uh, the wearer to put a ribbon, for example, and wear it either as a bandeau or a choker. And then the top part, with all the scroll motifs and the natural pearls, can be worn as a necklace. This jewel really combines the beauty of the craftsmanship and then the provenance coming from one of the most famous European royal families. It's really an opportunity for a collector who likes historic pieces of beautiful jewel to acquire a piece of history.